Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at solving the problem where you can't select a color in Illustrator because everything is gray. Before we begin, let me introduce you to my Illustrator courses at Udemy. You'll find coupons in the description below for all of my courses and these are always at least as good as any coupon offer that Udemy has and typically mine are better. I also have courses at Skillshare and I've included a Skillshare coupon for you too. Sign up for Skillshare to get access to thousands of classes, including over 200 of mine. Please feel free to share these coupons with your family and friends. So let's swing back to Illustrator and see what the issue is. I have a piece of art from Doodle Art Alley. This came as a PDF file. I have opened it up. I found the actual image in the background and I used Live Trace to trace it. And then I chose the Expand option. So what I have here is a set of paths and every one of these paths is selectable. So I'm going to select one of these paths and you can see it's filled with white. I want to recolor it pink. So I'm going to open up the panel here. I'm going to choose my pink color, click OK and it's gray. Now there's a short term fix for this and that is to go to the color panel with window and then color. And here you'll click down and select the kind of color mode you want to work in. For example, RGB. Now you'll see that my pink color is pink. It's not gray any longer. And the shape is now colored pink. The problem is that you're going to have to do this for every single one of these objects because whenever you select them, you'll see that there's a grayscale slider here. So you would have to come in and make it RGB. And that's just going to be a big pain in the neck. So there is a better solution. What I'll do is select everything with select all. You could press control or command A. I'll go to edit and then I'll choose edit colors. And what I'll do is convert this to CMYK. So whatever you see of convert to RGB or convert to CMYK, just select whatever it is that you see. So now this document is colorable using CMYK. So I'm going to select a shape. I'll double click on the color selector and I'm going to choose a sort of pale green color for it. I'll click OK. We've got green color here. We've got green color in the image. So what you need to do is to use that as a color option for all of the shapes so that you can get access to the colors. Now, of course, if you want to switch from CMYK to RGB, that's really easy to do. You'll choose File and then Document Color Mode. At the moment, it's set to CMYK. I'll just select RGB and now I can color it using RGB colors. Select the shape, double click. Here's my RGB color picker. I can pick a color to use. It's green here. When I click OK, it ends up green here, or greeny blue, and it's greeny blue in the document. And so that's how you fix this extremely annoying habit with Illustrator. Be aware that this will happen quite often when you trace scanned images. And it also happens occasionally when you import art from other sources. So I hope that's been of help to you. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the tutorial. Click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. As always, leave comments because I love to hear what you think of the videos. Until next time, I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.